a lot has been done to prevent workplace bullying and harassment. The truth, however, is that we still have a long way to go. For example, a recent report found that one barrier to women's retention and progression in the chemical sciences is widespread discrimination, harassment and bullying. But what exactly are bullying and harassment? Bullying is offensive, intimidating, malicious or insulting behaviour. It's an abuse or misuse of power through means intended to undermine, humiliate, denigrate or injure the recipient. Harassment is unwanted conduct affecting a person's dignity and can relate to a range of characteristics. Those accused of such behaviour are not always aware they've caused offence. A key understanding, however, is not whether the conduct was intended on the part of the perpetrator, but whether it was unwanted on the part of the recipient. A good question to ask is, would a reasonable person observing such behaviour see it as bullying or harassment? If you witness such behaviour, think about how you can be an active bystander. After all, we know when something's wrong. Imagine sailing solo in a hired boat and it springs a leak. That's the boat hire company's problem, right? Even so, you wouldn't think twice about taking action. That's the attitude we need to fix bullying and harassment. Ask if there's active bystander training available in your institution. And remember, good role models aren't just good scientists, they're good people.